big friend of mine, a great person, every time that you go in an international conference, someone say, ah, do you know Max Ciociola? You know, and every time. So it's very good. Uh, based in Italy, but doing business worldwide, great connection, uh, great execution now for his uh, project. Uh, please help me to introduce Max Ciociola Music Smash. Hey, Max, how are you going? <laughs> So, I love the music. what are we going to talk about? Well, <laughs> lyrics, we're going to sing yeah. along. Lyrics. In, in yeah. 30 seconds, for people who doesn't know what music match is. Uh, have you, I mean, uh, most of you probably do. Do you usually in the shower, when you're making the shower, sing along on your own? Okay. Now, we always say, when, when we thought about music match, we thought, why lyrics? And, you know, after three years, then we thought that, you know, if you know the lyrics of a song, you're cool. Okay. If you don't, you're not cool. So think I'm about, never, especially... I'm never cool because I never know the lyrics. Especially, you know, uh, Italians but with foreign languages. If you really are mumbling, like, like we say in Italy, a one gap, which is typically <laughs> well, when, you, when you don't know English. And if you know the, the, all the words of a song, you feel uh, uh, more passionate about your music. But no. if you don't know them... And this, the story behind music match and behind the fact that lyrics is the third most searched term, we say that people search more, more, much more lyrics than sex on Google. Come on. I'm, I'm not proud Seriously. of that, but okay. you know. <laughs> how many, how many searches uh, for lyrics? Uh, Google stated that currently 10% of all the global queries on Google are lyrics related. Unbelievable. So people typically. Before music match, people to get the lyrics should like you know search Coldplay lyrics, and that was kind of you know the the, the use case was like if you have one one thousand tracks on your iPhone, you had to Google one one thousand times. Right. So what music match did and innovated is that we actually scan your entire music from music match hub and we show you the lyrics, so you don't need to Google any time. Okay. That's that's the big thing. Well, what are the numbers now of uh, music smash? We're pre pretty close to 20 million downloads in the world. First country it's US, second one is Korea, Japan, okay. Brazil, you know, karaoke is pretty... Right. And you know, the number of active users is growing. We're currently featured uh, worldwide on Google Play and uh, we just launched the new iOS 7, hub, so we're pretty happy the way we're growing and, okay. you know. Max, I, I love you. Thank you, you oh, too. Oh, <laughs> you, me too. <laughs> I'm gay for Music Smash, okay? Okay. By and the way, today guys... Today it's important to say that because I don't know if you, all of you know, but, right. but Pietro Barilla said that uh, he would never use a gay person in his commercial, I would, yeah. and <laughs> we're today with... Uh, Very good. This and is an outing today. And okay. just to be straight, I'm having, at the end of December, my fourth kid. Okay, and I'm married, by the way. All right, <laughs> serious, serious. All right, that's it, stop. Serious. Um, how about, um, how did you do that? I mean, I, I really like uh, the, your approach because you're straight, so you say things as they are. You don't try to picture a better uh, scenario than, than what it really is. So how did you do that, and how a company that maybe has got a mobile app. A has anyone uh, got a mobile app in this hall? Raise your hand. Okay, good. So, uh, and everyone will have a mobile app sooner or later. So that's, that's what we know. How can you make it visible? How can you promote it on these app stores and everything? What, what, what are your best tips on this topic? The, 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 since we talked about mistake in the last pitch, you know, the, the most important mistake I think all of us made is we never care about design. I would say that, you know, it's a concept of beautifulness. What I mean is that usually beautiful app got featured. Beautiful, if you think about iOS 7, it's a completely new way of designing app. So uh, the first things that would be focused, it's on design, okay. user interface, user experience. Even before the code, you know, even before your backend. Because what happened is you can have an amazing, you know, coders, developers, amazing backend, but your app just looks crappy. Right. So I've learned, and that's what we are investing. We have four designers in Music Smash. Seriously. They're closing in the room, they're completely every, they are making mock-up, they're putting on the wall, 
It's like, you know, the old, you know, industry use it, you know, to prototype, you know, design. Right. So design, design, design. That's my, my, my first Number thing. one. Obviously, uh, it's like in a supermarket, you know. You're never going to sell your product if it's not visible. But at the same time, you're going to never sell your product if it's not good. Yeah. So the, the, the app store are kind of, you know, really, you know, tough because, you know, user can give you just one star and say, fuck you, I don't love this yeah. app. So, and this is the worst thing can happen. So you have to care about the users. This means you have to build a product that doesn't crash, that it works. You need, I, every day, you know, every morning when I, when I have my breakfast, you know, I do what I call KPI breakfast. Okay. This means I check. <laughs> KPI breakfast. Yeah, I check all, you know, the rating and the reviews from the previous day. So I know what's going on. If I had any troubles, you know, platform was not good, I can check. So caring about the users and ratings. And then, you know, there's not any, in my experience, SEO. You see company do SEO on the App Store? I don't think so. The ranking are pretty tough, but it's a clear and simple concept. If you do a good product and people rate in a good way, you just grow. That's so, pretty simple so in my experience. So Music Match got 20 million downloads just viral that way? I would say that we have months. solved an issue, a problem. We've made a very clean app and good app. We care a lot about crashing, whatever. The design is very clean and simple. That's the way we're growing. We, right. we, don't, we don't have money to invest on marketing. It's totally organic. Yeah. And you know, as I say every day, every single people I meet using Music Match, it's, you know, it makes my day. It's a person I know using the app. So I keep asking him, do you use Music Match actually? <coughs> you don't. Yeah. Um, so this yeah. is a feedback I got it, you know? So keeps getting feedback from your users. Right. Uh, we have just a couple of minutes more. Uh, one thing, what's your best tip to uh, an entrepreneur uh, that, that you say, okay, just one thing, but that thing is very, very important for me, my experience, for my failures and for my, uh, for my successes? Well, I think the, probably the, the most difficult thing actually is to be focused. Focused, okay. You, we have so many, you know, initiative around, we have so many events, so many cool stuff coming around that, you know, I mean, it's pretty tough, you know, to get, you know, focus on what you do. Right. So we get a lot of, you know, stuff coming. I only do one thing, beside my family, my, my second startup is, not, not because the least, is my daughter and my family. But, you know, I, I'm not able to do anything else. Right. So I only do one thing. So I would strongly recommend to just do one thing and do it, you know, in the and, best and way you can. focus on that. Uh, last thing, uh, Max is also organizing all this uh, hacking community, I would say, in Italy, which yeah. is now quite huge. Just a few words about that I think is interesting for hackers and or developers. You know, the again, we, I heard a lot of people saying, oh, in Italy we don't have good developers, you know, we're not in right. US, Silicon Valley. So I said, let's collect, you know, let's aggregate all the developers in an event called Hack Italy. And let's ask all of them to come. We had 600 developers last, wow. last hackathon we did. So clearly there is not a, any excuse from, from company and startup in Italy. We're, we have tons of developer, pretty high quality. And you know, I used to do that because you know, it helps the country and company can join and you know, and it's right. pretty growing, you know. Hack Italy if you want to follow is a, a great place to start. Yeah. Uh, Max Chochola Music Thank Match. Thanks, Thank Max. You. Thank you so much.